Good morning guys. I woke up in a good mood today again. I don't know what it is with this week. I just feel like I'm in such a good mood waking up lately. So I um, actually picked up a new pink shirt. I'm not a big fan of pink, but I thought this one is so cute. I actually really like how it looks. So I'm gonna go make coffee right now. We have some guys in the living room that came that work with my husband. So they're waiting for him to get ready. I'm gonna offer them some coffee too. And our morning started. Look how cute this shirt is. Has a little ruffles here, lace, little bow. Almost is like borderline pajama style but i kind of like that it's like kind of like a vintage -y. i don't know what the style is but i think it's really cute and i do like high-waisted bottoms for my body type just because i feel like my hips are a little bit bigger than usual i guess i don't know i always kind of had like a little insecurity with my hips which i kind of got over but i kind of found a style that works and it's high-waisted so my go-to tops are crop tops which i know that is not everybody's favorite but it works for my style <laughs> I had such a blonde moment last week, or no, that was this week actually, so, and last week. My smart head thought, for some reason, now that I think about it, I'm like, how in the world does that even make sense? So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I started working out at the end of May and like really kept it consistent for a while. For three months straight, like I was working out five, six days a week, like no breaks besides Saturdays and sometimes Sundays. Anyway, I was very consistent, very persistent. I'm like, I want to see what one full year of working out is going to do. And then after three whole months, I didn't really see results. So I kind of gave up i didn't necessarily give up but life kind of got in the way with the hurricanes and the traveling and just a bunch of other drama and stuff and i just kind of had no motivation to work out so i stopped it's been two months since i stopped and i am just like kind of disappointed in myself now because i'm like i didn't put in three months of work in just to stop and basically throw that away so i decided to continue and just finish that full year but what i'm kind of trying to do differently this time is really like seeing how much protein i'm eating because i didn't like it's really hard to eat enough protein. I don't think you realize unless you start tracking. So I feel like maybe that's why I didn't see results because I just didn't have enough protein. And I feel like I don't really eat a lot to begin with. Like I only have like two meals a day and then like something for a snack in between or later in the evening. So anyway, back to why why I was such a blonde. I for some reason thought that 100 grams of like your meat is 100 grams of protein. And now that I think about it, I'm like, why would you even think that that is equivalent to the same thing? Because me obviously has fat in it and other things like why would you think that that's protein my dad gave me salami when i was in missouri and so i would literally like grab a little weight cut up slices of the salami and weigh it and like make sure it's 100 grams of that salami and then like eat it and think that that's my 100 gram of protein for the day and then my sister called me out on it last night she was like so how's your protein thing going are you getting enough like what are you eating and I'm, i tell her and she's like are you good <laughs> that's not how you count and i like google it and i'm like so you're telling me that my 100 grams of salami that i've been eating is only 14 grams of protein so basically i've not been getting enough protein just like i usually have it and like i've been trying and that's with trying to get enough protein i'm still not getting enough so i got these protein bars when we actually live in vancouver still but i never ended up opening them up oh nice they're expired by three months but we don't care it's fine anyway one bar has 16 grams of protein so i'm gonna try basically to incorporate anything and everything i can with protein going forward and i'm actually looking into getting like a protein powder i just i don't know if i'm gonna like it like we went to this one coffee shop or whatever um on the way back home from missouri and they like had protein in all of their drinks and i ordered a coffee with protein and it was not it so i don't know because I, I don't like coffee anywhere i try it besides home so maybe if i make it at home it'll actually be good but if you guys 
have tried protein powders and no one that is like basically invisible. I don't even know if that's possible, but drop your recommendations in the comments below and I will check it out. This seems impossible, but I actually want to like track my protein and at least get my bare minimum per day that I need and see if I see any results after three months of working out. Then anyway, just playing around. This is the bars, by the way. It's like peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter bars. They're actually pretty good and it's like without the hidden sugar effect. Anyway, I don't know, but they're good and they have protein. That's all I need. I'm also thawing some chicken breast to make something for lunch slash dinner. So I need to find a recipe that is high protein, I guess. Low carb or whatever. <laughs> I don't know why, but Grace had an accident last night and it is so unlike her. I literally just washed her sheets because she had one like two days ago as well and I didn't have time to put them on and she just had one yesterday, again, on her like mattress protector. So, so I'm gonna put this all into the wash so it's ready for bedtime for her. I feel like it's probably, it gets cold here during the night and she does not like being covered under a blanket. So maybe that's kind of what triggers it. So I will probably close the bed. I am literally obsessed with my new laundry. It is so cute. And I keep my like booster beads and the actual pods of the washer here because it's just so much more convenient like that instead of reaching up there. But I have like all the other things that I don't use as often up there. I have one more lavender scented pod left. So I'm probably gonna refill it with the tied ones that I have. Definitely will need some of this for this load. Costco containers fills up two of these acrylic ones for me. It's already filled up half of it, and then we're gonna fill this one up once the other ones ran out. So, trash, one last thing to store. I thought these bicycles would be stored nicely in the corner, but that's literally not how they're stored, as you can see. Just get thrown around everywhere. I've been working with the twins on like their cleaning routine and making them clean up basically after every activity or like toys that they play with. So they were playing with their magnet tiles, but he wanted these building blocks. It's actually like a Jenga set to play Jenga. And I made him clean up all the magnet tiles first before giving them this. And then they played with this. I literally didn't even tell them to clean it up. They just cleaned it up and bought it and left it on the table for me. So it pays off. Like if you're just like on top of it and like make them clean up before you give them more toys to create an even bigger mess and then just a chaos for you to organize later i definitely recommend taking some time encouraging them to clean up cleaning up with them the first couple times and the less you give them at like one time the easier it is for them to clean up because they don't get as distracted and like overwhelmed with all the mess This is usually the time I would light candles back home, but it does not feel like fall here. So the only way that I can make it feel like the holiday season is by lighting candles. So I pulled this one out from my bathroom. I've had it for almost a year and I still haven't lit it a single time. So I lit it up this last Friday for like dinner. And now I've just kind of been lighting it for like an hour in the morning, kind of like now, and then like an hour in the evening. That way it kind of like smells nice. It's like a vanilla, vanilla and something else. But it's like a very like warm vanilla, like baked goods kind of smell. No, Sipa, 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 no, taking my weights outside and just doing like a quick workout outside while they're playing in the sand pit or just like running around with their little trucks. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh my goodness, okay. They made this little sand pit with all of their sand here. They've been dumping it for like three days already. Their sand pit is all the way over there, but they've been taking it in their little trucks and bringing it here and just playing with all their toys here. Mokri? 
Не знаю, почему мокрый. Потому что вы вчера его еще намочили. to go to the grocery store. So I just try to make do with what we have in the house. So I'm gonna make basically boneless wings. All chicken, so high in protein, hopefully. I'll need to look up how much protein is in like a chicken breast and kind of go from there. Peekaboo! One cup of buttermilk has eight grams of protein, which is actually really good. So I'm gonna have that as a little drink 
I don't know, does anybody else? That's a bad cup. Anybody want to better milk for funsies? Or is that just like an Eastern European thing? Mm, so good. All right, guys, this is it for our morning routine. Thank you guys for all being here. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Also, one chicken breast has like 43 grams of protein. So if I eat about 14 pieces of that chicken, it'll leave me at like 65 grams for the day. So I'm gonna need to figure out uh, something else <laughs> that I can drink or eat that will get me at least to 75. That's like minimum 75. <laughs> It's okay, сейчас построить еще один. No, я не могу, я Okay.